What's up, everybody? Good morning and welcome to the daily commute here with Tim Riley. Now, I, uh, I'm on my way to the Success Networking event here for May. Success Circuit. It's kind of a tongue twister. Success Circuit Networking event. And it's featuring the Tiffany Walk Peterson as well as the Ann Webb. The Wassel business went from 19,000 to uh, you know, million dollar business. And uh, Tiffany's known as one of Jack Canfield's uh, students, the tutelage of Mr. Jack Canfield, Chicken Soup for the Soul. And my name is Satema and I am the man who loves his life. And you know, I say that phrase often, but I don't say it because life is just super easy and everything just goes according to plan. There's a lot of hiccups, a lot of things that come my way. And the thing that you want to learn how to do, and you listen up closely, this is when I learned this tip, made a huge difference in everything that I did. And that tip is simply this, learning how to deal with disappointment. Because we all face disappointment in our lives, we're all going to face it. It doesn't matter if you, if you know, you have a job and then all of a sudden the company starts to lay people off and you know, you feel like this was the job for you. Uh, it doesn't matter if, uh, you know, maybe you're a trader and you've got all these these forex trades going and all of a sudden you start to lose your shorts and pretty soon you're in the hole. Maybe you are uh, a student fresh out of college, maybe you're a network marketer and your upline's not helping you as much or the product and the company. You know, the list goes on. My point is this, when you effectively learn how to deal with disappointment, I mean really manage it and take care of it, your life will be so much happier and that means we need to get some gas. Um, and here's why, most people let disappointment get them. Disappointment leads to discouragement and that can lead to depression. The 3D, I call it the 3Ds. You know, disappointment, discouragement, depression are killers. They wipe out positivity they kill optimism, they strangle beliefs, you know, having a belief of, you know, this is possible. The moment that you get to a point in your life where you're like, you know, this isn't possible anymore. I, I don't know if it's possible. You know, all of a sudden, you're like a, a duck in water, just sitting there. And if you're a duck in water, you know, the alligators, the hunters, uh, the sharks, they'll get you. So you gotta keep moving, and that's another thing, discouragement and depression and, uh, disappointment do is they literally 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 you got to say that they literally keep people from taking action they do think about it right now i want you to put your mind into place where you've been just absolutely de oh there's another d devastated disappointed discouraged depressed devastated and uh I want you to make your make your body like you're depressed, uh, or make your face like you've been devastated and you're discouraged. Uh, you know, it it changes so fast. And one of the ways you can deal with disappointment, discouragement, depression, and devastation, and now the four Ds. I just discovered a fourth D while we're driving here in the car. It's simply this. Put your focus on what you want ahead, not right now. See, people get discouraged and depressed and devastated and disappointed because they don't have in their life something right now, right here, right now. You know what I mean? Think about it. Anytime you feel disappointment, it's because you have an expectation, you have a desired result that hasn't been met yet. And when it doesn't get met, you begin to get impatient and uh, you know, kind of antsy and anxious, and all of a sudden, you find yourself with the four Ds, and it stops you from taking more action, it stops you from being highly productive, it stops you, it kills your positive attitude, and listen, the four Ds literally, literally will kill discipline, and it takes discipline to get up and go to the gym. It takes discipline to eat healthy. It takes discipline to work on the blog. It takes discipline to build you a, a business online. It takes discipline, right? Discipline is required when, when 
10,000 hours, you know, that's what Malcolm Gladwell says makes an expert. And of course, money box systems and what I teach and share is all about becoming an expert, becoming a field guru, becoming someone that people can look to, because here's the truth. If you're not viewed as an expert, if you're not viewed as a leader, someone that can offer someone real value, then you're viewed as a salesman, as a peddler, someone who only wants stuff from people. So, yep, that's my message today. How do you deal with discouragement and disappointment and devastation and depression? Simple. Put your focus on something that gets you excited because you need to get out of that unexcited mode to that I'm excited again. And not just hype, but literally having a transformation within your body, a physiological transformation, which can lead to uh, you know behaviors. And when you feel great, when you feel happy, that's why exercise is so powerful. That's why I love to exercise as often as I can, four or five times a week. Um, it'll be more productive. My friends, do not stay stuck in the rut of disappointment. Do not stay stuck in the rut of discouragement and devastation and depression. If you do, you will literally watch your life. There's that word again, literally. The word of the day is literally. You will literally watch your life pass you by and you'll be complaining like, well, well, man, you know, why can't I do? Why can't I get more people to join my business? Why can't I get more people to come out or to buy my product? Why can't I get more people to use my service? And the truth is, is that you, my friend, are writing the story. So as you write the story, stop writing about how you're a victim and turn yourself into the hero of the story by literally focusing on what you want down the road. And of course, in what I teach and share, it's called the results. Right? If you can think of a result that you want and picture it, what it's gonna feel like and what it's gonna look like and why is it so important to you, make a big difference in your life. So um, Ellen DeGeneres, I'm just gonna put it out there right now. Ellen DeGeneres, and even Oprah too. You know, Oprah, um, I'd like to come on your show uh, and I'll be there. And if I don't end up getting there for whatever reason, um, you know, I'll be on the next awesome show. So, okay, everyone, this is Satema Ali. I hope you've enjoyed the message today. I hope you'll take something from it. It's hard to be productive when you have the four Ds looming around you. This disappointment, discouragement, devastation, and depression. It's hard. And the fact is, again, once again, things are going to happen in our lives. Things will happen that will cause those. So it's not like you're not going to ever have them. It's the ability to get out of it. It's your skill set of being able to literally, there's the word again, to literally pull yourself out. And there's a lot of secrets and tips, but one of the things I'm going to share with you today, as I've shared previously, is put your mind on something way ahead. If you know, you're just looking at the here and now, that's what's causing you disappointment because you've been working out, you've been building this business, and here and now you don't have the results. Again, two creators have vision, large visions. Okay, my friends, I love you. Have a wonderful day. Hope you've enjoyed the message, and uh, if you could uh, go ahead and tweet to Oprah and Ellen DeGeneres that this Samoan guy, this tall, dark, and handsome guy, just kidding, wants to, would love to uh, get on their show, and, and it's really about creating value, and I just keep, I just keep wanting to share, I, I, I continue to want to share things with you. It's all about creating value, and uh, I hope that I've been able to create value for you and add value to your life because in the end, that's really what's most important is serving one another, helping one another, building each other up, and helping each other to obtain that which we truly need and want in our life. Okay, my friends, once again, have a wonderful day. Peace.